Alright then everyone, hello and welcome back to Brave New World Blindfolded. So this episode is extremely annoying. I really don't want to have to do this segment again, this is a very annoying and boring segment. There we go, that's done. So this place is just jacked, I mean, jam-packed full of NPCs. And it's very tight, so I don't have a lot of options, and I've got to walk back and forth it over and over again. And I've also got to talk to a bunch of thieves in the cafe that are walking around. The good news is there's no time limit. That's probably the only good news about this segment. Thankfully this is the last really horrible town segment. Hopefully the rest of this game should be pretty much meat, rather than segments like this one. There's going to be one more trip through South Figaro, but that won't be nearly as bad because there's not as much people there, and a lot more room. I'll be needing to grab all the items, which, in fact, I probably won't grab them all because it seems like not a ton of them got upgraded all that much in Brave New World, even less than I remembered, so... Probably did that okay. Left. Down. I might as well just play this at least a little bit risky, because it'll save me some time. And I'll... The worst part is at the cafe, which is the part I want to make sure that I keep everything after, so uh, I mean, want to make sure that I keep that part if I get it right, so that's when I want to start being careful. Down. So yeah, I'm running here a little bit, tiny bit dangerously, but I don't even really care that much. Not at this point anyway. down to hopefully the bottom. This one will wait a little bit longer because there is a legitimately quite good chance that this guy in pink is walking around down here because he does that a lot. He really likes to walk up in that little slot that I need to actually walk down in. So this part with the thieves is as painful as you might have guessed. Gotta walk left and up. There's the door. Alright, so hopefully I talked to one of them. Yes, I did. That one's probably my freebie thief. The one at the top is pretty much a freebie because he starts, like, just to the left of one of the other people. And he also has a... Th which means he has a 2 to 3 chance of walking up or down in either case. If he walks up or down on the first step, I can talk to him. Unless, of course, the other I talk to the other thief first, but that's even better. The only way that it's not going to happen is if he walks left, pretty much. So... Otherwise, he's like right in the range of that line that I've got dibs on. So I'm not too worried about him, but the other thief... I've only got a 1 out of 4 chance of him taking a step left and into my way because he's a step left of my line, and he's also... He also has complete freedom of motion wherever he wants to go. So, he can do whatever he feels like. Which means one out of four chance of getting him on the way in. The way out is obviously significantly more complicated, but... It's, I mean, you'd need a Bonavita mathematician to actually try and analyze that, so... <laughs> Alright, that's run number one. And I'm not counting that initial one that where I dashed in, talked to the one guy and ran out. I'm expecting I probably got the back thief with that one, not the front thief. But I at least want to get one of them before I start doing my actual runs. 
Unfortunately, there's really no good way to tell. Well, I mean, I guess I could, uh... I guess I could have checked the thief's message. Like, the... When the last... When you talk to the last thief, he throws up an extra message saying, like, Alright, let's go, or something like that. I probably should have checked that, and then used that to determine how many menus... From how many menus I go through, whether I have talked to all the other thieves correctly. That could have been a good idea, but... Oh well, too late for that now, I suppose. This is, uh, out two. Now for in three. I mean, I so it's not too big a deal if I miscount the outs and ins. If I do one less, well, that's kind of bad because there's a smaller chance of me getting it. If I if I do one extra, it's probably a waste of time, but you know, it still increases the odds of me succeeding. So whatever. Three. It's not like uh, obviously when I have to count steps or something later. If I mix up between two or three and don't know where I am, doing it wrong could throw me off. Fanatix Tower is going to be an extremely annoying place. I can already guess. At least in the vanilla LLG I'll have the Moogle Charm to make things easy. And I probably won't be fighting anything in there. Because I probably won't need the gem box all that badly. The white dragon... Well, I'll see what's behind him, whether I need to get past him or not. But the white dragon's a piece of cake, so I might fight him. Well, I'll probably fight the white dragon. Just because he sucks, but... In vanilla, he's one of the lamest bosses ever. Reflect. Oh, no. Can't do anything now. Mute. Oh, well, you've uh, lost all your attacks. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Great boss design right there, I must say. Most of the dragons can be trounced in some way or another. Red dragon can be confused. It's ridiculous. Ice dragon can be muted. Then he's worthless. Float over the earth dragon. Nope. And that's even if you're not using elemental resistances. Tortoise shield? Well, that water dragon can't do anything now. Thunder shield? Oh, well, now that thunder dragon's helpless. And I mean literally helpless because it's, he has no other attacks left. Why did I do that? That has no value. This is in four, I think. Green Dragon's probably the one that's hardest to cheese, particularly because in vanilla I don't think there's any... Oh, well, there is poison resisting equipment, what am I saying? There's a tabby suit and stuff like that, a moogle suit. But it's the hardest to come by, that's for sure. And usually the least uh, stackable with other things. Because, I mean, you throw on the Minerva and you've already got four protections. You throw on the Paladin Shield, you've got them all, I guess. I mean, if we're excluding the Paladin Shield and everything. Because the Paladin Shield protects against everything. Last time. I got an extremely irritating failure because I was pretty much right at the end and my control pad wobbled a bit because I'm using an Xbox controller and they're not quite perfect. The control pad was almost made like a control stick which is a pain in the butt. makes it hard to tell whether you're pressing down or down and right. Good old SNES controller, it was pretty obvious whether you're pressing down, and I guess there was no real down and right, but 
You knew which direction you were pressing at any rate, and that's the important thing. I mean, I guess I could always use the keyboard, but... That seems a bit of a pain in the butt as well. And I'd expect to mess up my other controls somewhat, which would be a bad decision on my part. This is uh, in and out 5. GameCube controller would probably be the worst for this, though. The control pad is just too small on it. Then again, it might be safer for segments like this one. Given my last run. The control stick, still, even with the grooves that the Xbox controller doesn't have for whatever reason, still wouldn't be quite enough to sell me on the control stick in an RPG like this one. Ironically, the Wiimotes, which suck for just about everything else, would be great here, as would uh, handheld systems, because they usually have pretty decent D-pads as well. But yeah, this D-pad's pretty much just a control stick with a... Uh, with a slight preference towards being a D-pad. <laughs> Alright, that's hopefully enough for that. Alright, so basically what I did there, took one step right, and the guy can't get my way because he's too far away from the entrance. I'm gonna take a step right there. Hopefully, if I didn't get him earlier, I got him when I was uh, walking up. So now that... That's why I mashed it while I was walking up, not to talk to the stationary guy, because I don't know for sure whether I'm talking to the guy who's walking or the stationary guy if I mash A there. So I've got to exit the menu, calmly go back, run up to his face, and say hello again. Even though I probably talked to him the first time, but if, it, if I talk to people over and over again, there's a good chance I can prevent them from walking out of my way. So it's definitely not completely safe. If I don't do this, at least. All the way to the left. Hopefully no one walking my way again. It's technically the only way I can fail to make it out here is if one of the guys walks in the entrance just as I'm trying to leave it. That's really the only scenario under which I'm going to fail completely at this segment due to this part. So I really hope that doesn't happen. Down. This is only one step, so I should have some leeway here. Well, I'm talking to this guy just fine. As expected, I wouldn't have expected to make that mistake, but... One, two, three. Hmm. Just thinking of a way to check if the thieves... ...are gone afterwards. I might try to make a double check for that. Alright, so... Walk down and out, if I did make those steps correctly earlier. Now, opening the menu closes that door. Alright, have, have the thing. Back up. Alright, that was kind of my check there. It, if I was dashing... You remember the first time I went in, I just dashed up and talked to one of them and... I wasn't able to open the menu during that time, so I knew that I was able to talk to one of them. Now I was able to open the menu during that time, so unless if he walked out of my way or something like that, the walking thieves have left the room, which means the other thieves have left the room, which means I'm good. Or at least it just reduces the chances even farther that I messed up. Alright, leave the cafe, all the way to the right. 
Now I gotta walk back across this horrible place. I liken this place to a uh, certain biblical location full of uh, nice warm water and charming locals. Sure, some advertising agent would manage to spin it that way. Actually, consider now that I think about it, considering Nike is in the north, it's probably well, at least somewhat north-ish. It's probably not going to have super warm water, but not that I was legitimately implying that. Alright, uh, hopefully I made it to those pot barrels alright. They're not pots. They don't even look like pots. Alright, did that correctly. Walk up to the top. Now hopefully things can just not go wrong so that I can just get out of here. One second, I've got an idea. Just in case that helps somehow. It might. Never know. Would have helped last time because I would have been able to determine the shopkeeper from my own menu, which is actually something that messed me up. Or at least rather prevented me from recovering. It wasn't the root cause of any problem. But recovering here if a mistake is made, it's extremely difficult because it's often hard to tell what mistake was made. It could be that Garrett didn't show up, you didn't talk to him in the right place earlier, you could have NPC in the way, random NPC troll, and during the recovery, anything could happen essentially, so there's almost no point in trying that much, even that late in a run. So even though I could have easily recovered on my last run, if I knew I was so close to where I needed to be. Anyway, it's hopefully enough up for now. One, two... Okay, that's good. There we go. I was expecting that set of noises. Everything feels like it's going according to plan, provided I did indeed talk to the thieves correctly, which since I double-checked it, well, at least I did a lousy double-check of it, something that could almost pass for a double-check if you were perhaps on the moon. I don't have to walk very far to the left here. So I'm probably good on that already. It's kind of hard because I'm so impatient to get the segment over with, but... I also know that if I'm not careful, I won't be getting the segment over with very quickly. So... Or at least I might not be. In fact, I probably will still, but... problem is try to plan for as much as I can go wrong as possible, but at the end of the day, sometimes all five thieves, all five runs in and out of the cafe, you can still miss the thief close to the door. Sometimes your controller can go wrong, and then you don't know where you are at all, because it's impossible to tell what went wrong when something with the controller goes wrong, because there's no real logic you can put into it. left. If things are going correctly, I'm getting very close to Garrett now. Thankfully, this area is out of the thick of things. 
This may seem extremely counterintuitive to be going all Pokemon Ice Dungeon mode on the uh, on the town here, but rather than just taking like the two steps to Garrett there, but it's a it's completely deterministic, so it's somewhat safer than doing that. A more dangerous set of movements, at any rate. That should hopefully be enough for that one. Down. So the moment of truth is coming up soon. Did I indeed get all the thieves correctly? Am I standing next to Garrett? So many things can come together at this exact one moment. Both times I talked to Garrett really are kind of decisive. Because this one confirms that so much has gone correctly. And the second time, I'm pretty much home free by that point, so... Alright, so... The problem is I can't take a step right too early here to, to check if I'm standing next to Garrett, because if it runs an NPC, it doesn't really check a whole lot. And also, it doesn't matter if I know that I've failed if I can't correct it. doesn't help with anything, so. The second time I press the B button is always the part where I start to get worried because the first time it's like, okay, the menu wouldn't even be open by that point. The second time it's like, alright, this is the, this is it. <laughs> Shoot, that was what I was supposed to do. It's probably not a disaster, though. <laughs> I was able to recover from this exact spot earlier in, on my last run, so. Down, right. Whoa, don't want to buy that. Left to the barrels. And I believe I actually saved myself time by messing up there, so, uh. <laughs> If you're gonna mess up, at least do it in a way where it helps you. <laughs> That's the lesson for the day. So yeah, considering I'm just walking left two steps into the barrels. Thankfully I knew the layout of that area well enough to tell that I was gonna run into the armor merchant there, so... And thankfully, I wasn't so dumb as to accidentally buy the item in the top slot. Cough, cough, and that I, what I did my BFL OG. Random diamond shield, okay. <laughs> you must have really put up a tough advertising scheme. I just couldn't say no. Alright, should that be enough? Perhaps it is. Perhaps it isn't. Probably is. I don't see how it could not be. <laughs> it would be absolutely ridiculous at this point. So let's just uh, start moving. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Talk to an NPC there. Well, wait a couple seconds. I know I talked to an NPC th there because right when I pre white. What am I, Elmer Fudd? Right when I pressed A, as I was moving left after that, I tried to open my menu, and it didn't work very well, so. Down. You know, considering where Edgar, I mean, Garrett lines me up, I could probably check with the armor sh relic shop guy where I am. And it's not going to send me the wrong direction if I'm not where I think I am, so yeah, this is a pretty good check. Okay, did not go anywhere. Let's try going down again. Thank goodness, all I can say is thank goodness this town, I never had to actually walk through it at the start of the run. At least not in any real, 
really bad capacity like I am doing here. Okay, so I'm probably standing... Probably standing in the L shape of crates above the relic shop. All the way down. Talk to the relic shop guy for confirmation after these messages. Hopefully NPCs aren't ganging up to troll on me here. That would just be horrible. There, as expected. Now the good news is, because I'm standing one step up and to the right of Garrett, I can take one step left, one step down, press this button, press the menu button, and yes, I'm talking to Garrett because no NPC could have possibly gotten in there and to the bottom three four five and if I did run into an NPC I'd be attempting to talk to a sack of uh, random assorted goods and services well I'm pretty sure there are no services in that bag but Let's menu trick it up here. Alright, so I'm through the worst of it, that's for sure. Definitely require an anti-miracle for me to fail here. Because now everything gets a lot more straightforward. And as far as everything that's left to go in Nikea, everything literally is straightforward. See, look at all that straightforwardness. That should be good. Thank goodness. That town is a pain. As I said in the BFLLG, if uh, a town were Final Kafka, this would be that town. We're on a boat. Finally. This, this song, it brings so much hope at this moment. <laughs> no, I just said that to be ironic. Goodbye, thieves. Alright, so this area is just really easy to visualize. Left one, all the way up. Down one, all the way left, hit the staircase. Down one, left one, up. And now I should be hitting a chimney, I think? I don't know, it's just a random gray thing sticking out of the ground. Down, left. So you can just see the difference between how much easier this town is to navigate than Nikea. Oh boy, I found something, I found another something. Neither of them were very good somethings, but they were there. Let's find a third something. Oh boy, didn't see that one coming. All the way to the right. Couldn't left a whole bunch, and we're pretty much out of here. After I run into this bush, obviously, because... Bush, you're always in the way. Hello barrel, and out. There we go. Oh, finally, I'm so glad I don't have to do that segment a third time. I mean, I don't see why, well, excluding all of the times I've failed, if you want to count those. Only one of my fails in all my runs was a really nice, neat fail early on. Everything else was really horrible. Oh, uh, if there's any good news, this was six minutes faster than my BFLG. See you next time.